Uh, as long as it's it one. How much did I find one yesterday? But I wish they looked at what they were doing right away. Oh, that's great. So, I love it. Actually, I was getting to it. I hope it actually is recording. <laughs> Listening to it. <clears throat> Should be good. Well, before we get started, uh, the good blind Reverend Stanley White will. Lead us in prayer. Lord, this election was not great. Oh, no, it wasn't. Uh, Lord, if this election was an animal, this election would not be a lizard. Uh, no, if this election was an animal, it would not be a salamander, Lord. Yes, Lord. This election was a frog. And in little toady legs in hot water. Hot water, make it great. Make it great. You did it once, Father. Do it again. Do it again, Lord. The election was froggish, Lord. Let it leap. Let it leap. Wait, wait. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to stop you there, good reverend. Uh, le leaping sounds like exercise. And uh, see, uh, thank you, good reverend, but uh, no thank you. Well. Make America great again, again. We ask this in the name of your son, Donald J. Trump Jr., Lord. Thank you. And thank you for pork chops too, Lord. And I'm out. Well, uh, in California, uh, where they settled, they said a million billion people have voted where lots of 115 year olds live. Uh, people are voting in the places where I see in every one of these states uh, that you mentioned are states that happen to be won by the Democrats. Damn right! I can't check every vote. No, I can't. Because uh, I haven't left the White House in months. Uh, well, maybe to wave goodbye to a ship in New York. Yes, goodbye. Uh, next question. Louis Armstrong. Mr. President, uh, so you have not seen trees of green? No, Louis, just your cheeks. Uh, I'll bet you vote by mail. Louis, uh, you know the things bundling and the things happening with votes by mail? Well, where thousands of votes are gathered i'm not gonna say which party does it uh wh where thousands of votes are gathered uh, they come in and they're dumped in locations and all of a sudden you lose elections you thought you were gonna win and like hall and oates said uh i can't go for that you tell them mr president amen amen and amen. Next question, Michael Jackson. Where you been? I'm not gonna spend my life being a color. What in the Sam hell but Jesus are you talking about, boy? Joe, come get your boy before I whoop his ass myself. Kiss my ass. Next question, beat it, Michael. Uh, I always want to say that. Oh. Uh, Donald, this is Brock. Uh, you still drinking bleach? No, but your mama does. 
I did catch you on video uh, stealing my election. Roll the tape. Damn right. Roll the tape. Hillary, give me a beer. Count these ballots. One for Joe. One for me. One for me. None for the orange man. And one for Joe. We well, won that state. As you can see, there, uh, hmm, I got more votes than Lincoln, Kennedy, and Martin Luther King combined. Bullshit. Well, looks like we'll see you in Supreme Court if you survive my vaccine. But for now, live from Tulsa, it's the ACAST. And we're going to talk to some of these, one of my African Americans. And I believe uh, he wants smoke. Trust me, folks, he doesn't want this smoke, OK? Uh, I know smoke. I just sold a smoke-filled building to the Chinese yesterday. What say you, caller, about Colin Kaepernick? He's fired. He's a disaster. What say you? What say you, caller, about Kaep Colin Kaepernick? OK, what I say about Colin Kaepernick is that he's an American. Now, if you want to make America great, like you're stating that you're trying to make it, well, what I'll say is you're un-American on everything that you're preaching right now. You're, you're very a low full energy, of shit. Sir. You're very low energy. Just like Jeb Bush, I'd say. Jeb Bush is a criminal. Just like the rest of the Americans are criminals. Matter of fact, you, sir, are a direct criminal. I know criminals. I... I happen to know criminals. Trust me. Believe me, folks. Criminals. I know criminals. That's why I'm building the wall. Yeah, you know a criminal because you look in the mirror every day. And that's the part that you need to understand. Look at everything that you're talking about. You're talking about it's un-American. Uh, going against the flag. It you is. going against the flag by telling somebody if they should stand up for it. Sir, you should apologize. You feel I'll that give I'm... you a chance to apologize. We're Can waiting. Say that one more time, sir. We're waiting for you to apologize, sir, for talking about our great country. And I know great. Believe me, folks, I do know great. And you're a disaster. Well, I'll say what great is this, is that we're allowed to speak out against anything that we feel that is unjust. That's what makes us American. So if you feel crooked, that Hillary. somebody is standing up for our rights, then you should leave, sir, and take your ass back to Europe. Well, I think it's pretty evident because Kaepernick is not in our great NFL. He's not a part of our great country. And frankly, I think he's a disaster. Well, the reason why he's not part of the NFL is because that's a systematic racism that they're using to use on him. He's in a prime example that there is systematic racism within America. Don't you understand that, you imbecile? I have so many African Americans that contribute to this great country. And, sir, I do think you're a disaster. Uh, of course you're going to think I'm a disaster. And then you're talking about contributing African Americans. How about built it all by ourselves? Built the countries on our back. So how can you sit here and say that, call somebody out about standing up for their God-given rights against human 
uh, against human rights. Do you understand what he's standing up for? So They're you think that's wonderful to disrespect unjustly. our service members and our great flag and frankly this great country and trust me folks I know great and you're not great. Well, I can say the same thing about you. It depends on what lens you're looking through, who you could describe as great. So that goes both ways, son. Well, you seem to be a crooked Hillary supporter, so there must not be any getting. Matter of fact, crooked Hillary has been brainwashing people. I mean, I've given to her campaign. I I'm against Hillary the too. She's a pedophile to go along with that pedophilia that's going on in Washington that you serve, you self self interest uh hypocrites are up there molesting the nation and the world. So I'm against crooked Hillary myself. Sir, you have you you see <laughs> you seem to have a wonderful temperament. You your temperament is so wonderful. Your temperament is so off. The American people, and most people, matter of fact, raise your hands if you love Donald Trump. There's no hands being raised. Not, not on my side. What I will say is this. You people, and I'm talking about you, un-American, uh, Re Republican, the only ones that's on America are those who don't stand for the flag, sir. Would you say that not standing for our flag is American? No, no, you don't have to stand for the flag. That's not un-American. How that's can like, you disrespect um, Being American members. means that you can protest. You can protest against something for rights. I'll tell you what. I think every owner, general manager in the NFL should look at every player. If you don't stand the national anthem, I'm telling you folks, trust me, standing is not that hard. If you don't stand, what I'll say is this, and I it think shows that, that the players don't have a black ball. He's fired. Because they should have all stood down for the whole American society. If one person is getting done, it's not being shown their human rights, that's against every American in the United States. Sir, how can you accept the disrespect to our service members? How can you accept that? The disrespect to our service you? members, and frankly, I would say everyone who cares about this great country, you're disrespecting, sir. The country should be disrespected. Because you, if you want to really be respectful, you need to start paying reparations to the indigenous black nations that was already here. Now, I have many African-American friends. Trust me. Believe me when I tell you, I know African-Americans. And they are, the least thing in their mind is reparations. They're trying to get behind me and make this country great again. The only way you can make the country dead again is by people like you dying early. That's how the country will be back great again. And the pill you are in your coffin and like-minded people like you with that particular ideology, you should be destroyed. You're obviously a Ben Carson supporter. I don't know about those seven day events. I just don't know. I'm, a, I'm not a supporter of any group. Any political party, I'm not affiliated. I'm for human rights, and I'm for everybody trying to grow. That's a real America, a melting pot. That's what we want to represent. So That's frankly, inclusive. It's, it's We're being a, we want to be an inclusive nation. We are against separation. It seems that you may be a Kim Jong-un supporter. Is that what it looks like? Is that what it looks like to you? Wonderful. 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 Well, I'll tell you this. You can't possibly say you want to make America great again when you're a Putin supporter. That's a definitely no-no. So you explain that, sir. Until you're able to explain that, you're un-American, you're a criminal, and you should be slaughtered. I think, frankly, we've settled that debate. We know that the Russians did not help our campaign. But 
the Clintons will keep putting that narrative out. Frankly, folks, I'm not concerned about it one bit. I'm more concerned of about- Of course you're not worried about it. And the narrative is never going to change because you guys make up the narrative. Well, so you what. how could it change? So that what? only means that the rest of the government, uh, uh, the rest of the government establishment is complicit to your criminal activity. Sir, frankly, people like you are the reason why I propose building a wall. And folks, believe me, this is going to be a great wall. This is going to be the greatest wall that you've ever seen. This wall is going to be so high. Look at you like wasting you money won't on a wall that over it. doesn't even Trust need to be. Me, folks, believe built. me. You just got to change the ideology. And, and who's going to pay for it? That's right, Mexico and the African Americans. What say you, sir? Well, what I'll say is this push the button and be done with everything. Well, this is the last thing I'll say. Live from Tulsa, it's the It Cast. Church, amen, and welcome to the He Is God Ministry Broadcast. I am your blind Reverend Stanley White. Praise God and praise God and amen. Brought to you by Enjoy. We gonna make America vape again. Oh yeah, oh yes we are. And this is also brought to you by the color purple. We gonna make America great again. Oh yes, and before we go on, we wanna send a special praise God. Congratulations to Deacon Larry Bird. That boy was balling. He dropped 75 and took us to back-to-back -to -back champions for the first time. Amen. For the great amount. Zion Williamson Baptist Church, amen. Uh, we're going to show some seeds today. Today we're going to show some seeds. And we got some callers. They need a healing. Yes, they do. Now, caller, are you here to show your $1,000 seed today? I said, caller, is you here to show your $1,000 okay. okay. seed? Okay, what's up? What's up with you? What's up? Sitting here listening to you pray. America and praising Baptist God, you got to be out of your damn mind, bro. Sir, we're oh, sowing so seeds today. About? We're sowing seeds today. Is you going to show your seed? Look, man, let me tell you something. You sitting there with all that that faith, uh, uh, believing in God and all that. America is one of the worst countries in the world because of people like you praising God and taking money in. Oh, uh, well, we saw it, 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 it. I'm going to hear you anyway, Satan. Scum tell you, you're going to answer three questions for me. Now, question number one Bob Cousy, George Mikan, and Bill Lambert. Is that your top three of all time? Is them your goats? Tell me they are if you want it. Now the only top three that that'll make it in is a, is is in a coon book and with a natural white person that 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 those players that played back then with no really black players you the only fool that's gonna think that's good. Other than that, that's terrible, man. Damn was ballers come tell. Not even in the top one thousand. I tell you what, question number two, if you want a healing boy. Scum tell, tell me where were you when Donald Trump made that I have a dream speech to the world? Trump didn't make no goddamn I had a dream speech. Trump made a, made a, a white supremacist speech on how he's condemning anybody that's going against white supremacists. That's the only dream and uh, uh, speech that he made. How to, uh, what was they doing in Charlottesville? They came what? out with some little pussy little white boys. That's losing. That's losing all their uh, 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 rights 
from set. And we can, why it's from we set can tell you don't white know white nothing about basketball phrase. God. Question number three, true or false? True or false? Where were you when Donald Trump invented that cotton gin to save your ass from that hot sun? Oh, man. Actually, a, a brother made the cotton gin. That's what happened with that. Yeah. A brother? I'm not trying to keep nobody out of the sun. Well, you don't know nothing don't, about Trump history. Trump ain't invented it. I'm going to tell you what Trump amen, invented it. Amen. Trump amen. Invented Tom's it. amen is amen. Fraudulent financial thing. I'll tell you what, boy. I tell you what, this is this is on your healing is on the line right now, boy. I tell you, scum, tell your healing is on the line. Question number I'm gonna three. I'm gonna tell you what's on the line for you, white boys. You know what's on the line for you, white boys? Too much sex with the other race, make your ass disappear. That's what's on the line for you. Question white boys. number you three. Think- I know you need a healing, Satan. I know you need a healing. True or false? Don't you know Kurt Rapp led the show? Lakers to five championships in the 80s, boy. Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis? Kurt Rambis. Man, Did you Kurt see the way Rambis he brought down the rebound? Right. Well, I'll tell you this. Don't worry about Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis is like one of the sorriest coaches that you've ever seen. He, you got to remember, a lot of these white boys don't even know how to manage a team or nothing like that. They just inherit, inherit the team. Keep going from there. They they really don't know what the hell they doing. I they see you ain't took away. not a one history class, boy. What have you got to say for your teacher? Your teacher ought to be ashamed. Could you repeat that, please, sir? You don't know nothing about history. You know George history. Mackin was the greatest center of all time. He gave well, it we to, do know to history. every time. We do know history is slanted one way from a white perspective. And everybody know that that's all fake. Now that all this is coming out, don't you see why the paradigm in the whole in the whole grand scheme of life is gone crazy now? Because they know that the white boys are fraud and fake, and he only been here for five thousand years. Yeah, the jig is up on them. What would you be drinking from if old Donald Trump didn't invent the cup? Man, Donald Trump can kick my ass. Donald Trump. Uh, Mike Pence, uh, Condoleezza Rice, all of them, they all are full of shit in my book. Well, I tell you what, what do you got to say about your history? I don't know nothing history, about this great. All I can tell you is the history is that all the brothers, mostly, we're not, we not no African Americans, bro. All of us is Native Americans that they call America now. We all indigenous to this land. Well, your healing so, is on the line. Your healing is on the line. It's here. on the main line. Where were you when Kevin the Cavaliers to four straight NBA finals? When who? When Kevin Love, the the best player ever to play for the Cleveland Cavaliers, he led the Cavs to four straight finals. Where were you, boy? Man, Kevin Love, like, like I said, Kevin Love is probably in the top uh, 2,500. He's in the top 2,500, somewhere around there. But other than that, Kevin and Love, it, what it is, all he could do is give up love. i tell you what, I like boy, Kevin I Love, ain't though. got Kevin time to be your history, give you no history lesson today. All I'm going to tell you right now is, live from Tulsa, it's the It Cast. We interrupt this program to bring you a special program. We have the debate between Barack Obama. He's debating Donald Trump right here on WKLAN with moderator Bubba Thunder brought to you by the ITCAT. Before we get this little shindig of a debate kicked off, I have two questions. 
and a statement. Statement. What in the hell is going on here? Question. Where in the Sam hell is Joe Biden? Thanks, Bubba. Uh, first of all, I, I'd like to wish, uh, sweetie, uh, next year we won't be doing this uh, in front of 40 million people. Uh, happy anniversary, sweetie. Very romantic. The red states call. Uh, blue states call. Uh, we're not the divided states of America. Uh, the United States of America called Joe. Okay? Uh, they left him a voice, man. Uh, and here I am. Is it Osama or Obama? It's Obama. I'm surprised. No sleepy Joe. Very surprised. Donald Trump is a small business. Uh, but I don't think uh, he likes to think of himself as uh, anything small. Frankly, I... I thought I would see uh, Sleepy Joe, uh, maybe talk about where is Hunter, uh, maybe the China virus spread by none other than Hillary Clinton, crooked Hillary, uh, and her running phony Marsh Simpson running mate, uh, Kamala. Yes, uh, but instead, I get cheated. Can I say something? You'll wait your turn, boy. And then there's a nervous, crazy, high tax, high crime, Nancy Pelosi, and Twinnett. Damn right. Now, does anybody think, uh, XR vote? Needs more money. Uh, why don't we uh, eliminate uh, uh, tax breaks for corporate jets? If you can afford a corporate jet, you can afford to pay full freight, uh, not get any special uh, any special breaks. Now you're only saying that because black. Are scared of heights. What do you say about that now, Mr. President? Well, uh, folks, just go to his website. I'm, I'm telling you, folks, go to his website, and you're gonna see that he's telling you how he's going to fight ISIS. He's telling you how he's gonna fight ISIS. I think General Douglas MacArthur would. Because you're telling the enemy, uh, how, what you're going to do to him. Uh, no, 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 folks. He's telling the enemy what he's going to do. Uh, no wonder you've been fighting ISIS your whole adult life. No, 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 oh, 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 wait. Wait, wait, uh, uh, no, uh, I'm glad you recognize that, uh, ISIS is a threat, because, uh, when you were asked a few months ago, uh, what's the biggest threat to America, uh, not Al-Qaeda, uh, you said Russia. So uh, the, the 80s so called, they, they want their foreign policy back. Now that's a lie. The Cold War has been over for 20 years, folks. Now, folks, uh, first, he called this the gold standard of foreign policy, okay? The gold standard. But once he saw that I 
was for it, all of a sudden, now he's against it. Frankly, folks, I will release my tax returns against, against my lawyer's will. As soon as Crooked Hillary releases her 35,000 emails. If I could read, I'd read them all. Uh, I'm about two seconds off of your ass. And here I go. Ah, back up. Looks back like a folks. Live from Tulsa, it's the It Cast.